Hello guys, welcome to Jazz F Tutorials. Um, my name is Jeanette, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cool text effect in Photoshop. I'm calling it my Candy Coated Photoshop Tutorial, because basically what we're going to do is we're going to make our text look like a candy. Sounds yummy, right? Alright, so, to get started, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a new document in Photoshop. You can make it any size you want. I'm going to choose web, and I'm going to choose the 640 by 480. That's what I'm using. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to start making our text. So click on the T over there in the tool section, or just push T on your keyboard, and then select the cream puff text font, which I will provide in the description for you to download. Now you're going to want to type in really any text you want. I want to type in the word candy, but feel free to change that to whatever you want. And then just size it to your liking. I'm choosing size 100 because it looks good for me. And any color is fine, because we're going to change that eventually, so it's okay. And then you're going to go to color overlay. Double click on that for layer properties. And you're going to change that to color dodge for the blend mode. And the opacity should be 69. And now you want to duplicate the layers twice. So you have three layers of candy. So you should have three layers. So then, once we have that done, we're going to first of all hide the sugar layer first so that we can work with the hard layer first. We're going to work with the hard layer, so hide the sugar layer by clicking on the eye in the corner. We're going to work with the candy layer, double click on the hard layer, and we're going to do a drop shadow. Now you're going to change the opacity of it to 50. Keep it in multiply and we're going to change the angle to 90 and use global lighting. And we're going to change the distance afterwards. Distance is going to be 2. The spread will be 0. And the size will be 3. I know I changed this spread to 3, but it should be 0. That was a, a, a mistake I made. So, And then after we do the size, the spread, and the distance, we're going to work on the next one. We're going to go on to bevel and emboss. And do you want to keep the style to inner bevel? Technique to smooth. We're going to change the depth to 471. The direction should be up. And we're going to now change the size. The size of it should be 8. And soften, keep that at 0. And we're going to the angle. The angle, we're going to set that at 90. If it's not already 90, keep it there and use global lighting. Now you want to click on, on the bevel and contour and select Gaussian, Gaussian, and then click OK. Highlight mode, we're going to change that. Make, make sure that's white. If it's not already white, change it. If it is, keep it there. The shadow mode, keep that at multiply. And the highlight mode, opacity, should be 42. Shadow mode, multiply in black. Opacity at 17%. If your shadow mode isn't already at black, then you should change it, but if it is, keep it there. Now we're going to do a pattern overlay. You're going to select this pattern here as shown. I will provide that in the description as well to download. Change the opacity to 40. 
Make sure I selected an exclusion, and the scale should be 61. Then click OK, and you should have this. This is what your, your candy layer should look like so far. Okay. So now that we're done with that hard layer, now we're going to work on the sugar layer. So you're going to want to activate the sugar layer by clicking on the eye so the eye is, is shown. Then, what you're going to do, hold down the command button, which is control on a PC, and you want to click on the letter T, which will then turn, which will then highlight the words in a selection mode. Then you want to hit the mask button down below, down below the, on the layers, on, down below the layers, you'll see it next to the FX button, and it will mask out what you have selected as your text. And when you do that, you now, and then once you have that done, you want to click on that layer mask that you've just done. And then you're going to work with the lasso tool on that. So hit the L button on your keyboard, or select the lasso in the tool section. And you're going to want to draw, draw around your selection loosely and fluidly, as shown here. The idea for this was to make this look more like liquid, or look as if it's like coming off, you know, when you look something. It doesn't really matter if you go outside the lines or anything, because you can fix that later by, by editing the mask and all that stuff. Once you've made your selection throughout the whole word, go back to your starting point, let go of the mouse, and this will subtract everything and make it look like a selection. And it will all be moving around, and you'll see what I mean. Alright, once you've done that, now you want to go to the layer. You want to double click on the layer. You want to double click on the on the sh on the sugar layer, and do bevel emboss settings. For the inner bevel, you want to have the technique is smooth. The depth should be 100%. The direction should be up. The size should be 5px. The soften should be zero. Okay. So once you've done all of your bevel and emboss settings. Then we're going to move on to another setting. We're going to select again color overlay. And in this one you want to keep the blend mode to normal and change the opacity to 23. And keep the color the same as it was. Now we're going to go to granite overlay and we're going to change it from normal to screen. And then we're going to also be changing the color. But first we're going to change the opacity to 35. The linear and keep the angle at 90. And keep the scale at 100. Now to change the color. We're going to use the color white at the end. And in the beginning we're going to change the color to 6F1D1D as shown here. And then keep that at the end white. If it's not white, change it to white. And then click OK. And again. And that should be it for now. And then you should have this. This is what your candy thing should look like right now. But now I'm going to make a background for it. So, if you don't want to make the background, you don't have to. But I am. I'm showing you how to do it anyway. to the background, we're going to double click it, and we're going to make it a layer. When you double click it, it will give you a thing, just click OK, and now go into color overlay, and change the color to this color. This is what you should get. Alright, now we're going to be working again with the granite tool. So, this time we're going to choose the granite over in the tool section, which is G on the keyboard for shortcut. Click on mask layer, and then follow these settings as shown. And you should get this. This is what you should have. We're going to double click that. We're going to do color overlay again. Change the color to a dark color such as this one any color will do. Click OK, and this is what you should have. I added more highlights and stuff to mine, so this is what mine came out to be at the end. 
And now for my end result. This is what I have at the end. Well, I hope you enjoyed this wonderful tutorial. I hope it was helpful. And if you have any questions or concerns or comments, please let me know. And if you want, put a response to this video and show me what you made. I'll be, I'll be eager to see it. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy.